my tip number three kind of contradicts my tip number four because it's about challenging yourself with something you're not quite familiar with. For example, I really like yoga, for example, and I like listening to everything about yoga, you know, like creating books about yoga, things like that. But one day I'm like, hey, I think I should listen to something about space you know about the planets about our planet earth it's completely different but again i am interested in this this is the most important thing it can be different you know usually you like listening something about cars or about technology or about money but just one day you decided to listen to something about food for example it's just a good challenge you know listen to something completely different from what you're used to and actually this is where now on to the podcast that i recommend for older kids the reason i recommend these for older kids is because the content might not be appropriate for younger kids and these podcasts can really be used in a more academic way once your children can independently write on their own or read on their own or just think a little more critically the first one I will mention is called Myths and Legends. Now, I made the mistake of listening to this with my six-year-old. It wasn't a complete disaster, but Myths and Legends is basically just tells in depth the stories about popular myths and legends. So the backstories that you might not actually know. For example, Maui from Moana has this whole backstory that I never heard of. So I put on this podcast episode and I'm like, oh, this will be about the Disney movie. This will be great. And it turns out he was like abandoned by his mother. Um, everyone's trying to kill him. <laughs> it just got really intense. The bullet journal method is at heart a toolkit. And the first question is, how can these tools best serve you? Ask yourself, why are you watching this video? What brought you here? Try to trace your curiosity back to its origin. Chances are you discover the bullet journal while trying to find a solution to a specific problem. Perhaps you want it to be more organized or productive or creative or mindful. Whatever your need may be, start there. Use your challenge to set an intention for your bullet journal practice. To do this, simply write down what you want to get out of it. Maybe it's a few sentences, a brief mission statement, or a bulleted list. Just make sure that it's based on your lived experience. Most productivity tools and methodologies fail because we should ourselves into them. I should read more. I should be more organized. I should journal. Maybe. But why? Again, a tool is only as good as its ability.